let's go back to our guest in London now. Olivia Gita is joining us from there. He's a security analyst at Global Strat. That's a geopolitical risk and security consultancy firm. Mr. Gita, thank you very much uh, for staying with us. So as, as France uh, wakes up this morning, there will no doubt be so many questions being asked about how this attack could have taken place in Nice on Bastille Day so soon after the you know, Euro 2016 Cup. Yes, you're, you're right. I mean, uh, th there's still so many questions unanswered. Uh, we don't know how that, that truck got uh, got in. We don't know if the security was lax. So we, uh, uh, we still will have to see. But uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, France has been under a heightened state of alert and a lot of plots were foiled and they've been, they've been lucky and... Uh, uh, there have been calls for for attacks in in uh, in the south of France and attacks against beaches. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, this is the new normal. I, I was in Paris last week, uh, briefing uh, corporate executive, and uh, I said, "Look, what, what we've seen in January, what we've seen in November, this is our new normal. We have to learn to live with this because this is just the beginning." Uh, when you look at the numbers of potential terrorists uh, in France that the security services have to monitor but cannot monitor, uh, it gives you nightmare at night. Uh, so th that's the main problem is the, the sheer number of uh, potential homegrown uh, terrorists. Security analyst uh, Olivier Gita joining us from London there. Mr. Gita, please do uh, stay with us as we continue our coverage of the attack in the French city of Nice. So just to round up, uh